guys, gals, and non-binary pals. My name is Allison. And I'm Tori. And this is Library Lists. Ah, oh, fuck. Here comes our mascot. <laughs> So we're going to do a little bit of a kind of life update because we've been gone for like a month. Sorry, but if you don't care about that, please feel free to skip to this time right here in the weird box that I'm attempting to make with my hand, but I only have two of them, so it's not working and I'm not putting my feet on camera. <laughs> so uh, yeah, first update, we moved. Yes. Suck an update. Tori brought her dog, so we have a dog now. He watches us film. It's we have great. an audience all the time now. This is Leo. Mm -hmm. He is 11. He's been my dog for eight years. He's a Chihuahua Pomeranian Poodle. Yes. And he has fancy parents. Um, he was originally my foster dog, but his parents are show dogs. But he is a rescue He's also a little asshole, but that's fine. Yeah, we moved. Yeah, uh, we moved. So we had to pack up all of our books and move them down through flights of stairs and then up into our new place, which is also on the third floor. So uh, that wasn't fun. Only wanted to die a lot. But the book room looks very nice. Yeah. Um, we'll we, do a tour at some point. Yes, we are doing a bookshelf tour. We are just still tinkering with the shelves themselves. Them As shelves, you can see, if I can say. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you can see the top shelf, which I kind of hope you can't. It's a disaster. It's awful. Uh, the only thing we have concretely decided, at least for this bookshelf, which is the one we sit in front of when we film, obviously, is that these middle two shelves are a rainbow. That's it. That's the end of the things we've decided. Yeah, and honestly, it doesn't even look good that good right now because we've pulled a bunch of the books that are making up integral parts of the rainbow for various reasons. So, ha! <laughs> we moved across town. We are still in the same city. We are still in the same state. We moved from, like, the southeast to, like, the northwest, basically. Yeah. So, we're, like, 45 minutes away from our old place. I started grad school. Yeah. If I'm a little out of it, it's because I had my first exam. I think I did okay. She did great. So yeah, that's going. Yeah, I'm still in grad school. Uh, working on a lot of different things right now. I'm currently trying to write a research grant and I'm preparing for my first departmental seminar that I have to give in front of the Department of Chemistry. And yeah, and I'm taking a class. Um, I'm taking just one. It's a specialized topics course in mass spectrometry. So there's that, um, which just means that it's like a very highly specific course because it's the only thing we cover. So, I'm so jealous. It's a I lot. want to take this course so bad. I'm probably going to talk to the professor about maybe sitting in on it next semester. Yeah. Um, um, but so far, it, it's going okay. Uh, I definitely feel a little more at home in my lab. Definitely have made some friends kind of in my lab. I'm back to working full time. During the time when we were like in lockdown and everything, I wasn't going to work. And then they slowly started phasing us back. But I'm back to full time now. So, yay. I'm about to start rotating in labs. I've got two set up in immunology labs, mm -hmm. um, and I'm working on a third mm -hmm. to kind of decide what lab I want to go into. Maybe one day we'll do more of like an actual Q&A, kind of getting into nitty gritty stuff if y'all really care that much. But uh, for now, just know that I'm tired and I'm stressed. Yep. Okay. Hello, if you skipped to this section of the video. And Which is justified. <laughs> if not, still hey. <laughs> Long time no see. How you been? We're here to talk about books, so that's what we're gonna do. I know it is the 14th of September when we are filming this. Like halfway through the month, but we're gonna talk about what we wanna read. Listen, we're struggling, okay? We moved, we did a lot of things. We're just gonna, you're just gonna do it. You're gonna be here. Before we do get started with talking about our books, we did just kind of want to put like a disclaimer up here. Uh, we have decided we don't want to film formal TBR videos. We filmed one of these kind of 
book chats as we're calling them in August but y'all never saw that because of everything that was happening we never got around to uploading that we also didn't read like any of those books so it was fine yeah we didn't read very much in August so instead in lieu of a formal TBR video we have decided to do kind of a monthly book chat where instead of it being more of a formalized TBR video it can be more what kind of reading mood we're in here are some books we're considering reading and like if y'all have suggestions about things based on what we're in the mood to read y'all can suggest things and if we know of any readathons we might want to participate in we can just lump them into this video or things that we are going to be looking forward to throughout the month or you know life updates like everything we just told you yes. unless you skipped it tangent aside we're gonna talk about books now because that's yeah. what we're here to do so we're gonna talk about the ones we're currently reading first mm -hmm. and then get into kind of our book mood and what we're planning on reading i'm currently reading one physical book that is all i am reading and that is strange grace by tessa gratton because i can't find the actual book this is just the dust jacket i am not sorry i'm so excited for this book i want to read it so bad yeah so this is kind of a very spooky witchy aesthetic book at least from what i've read so far i am like 65 pages in so i'm not very far in but i really like the atmosphere of this book and it's a really good book to kind of get you in like the spooky season. Clearly I'm already there. I'm reading this this month because Tori wants to read it next month and she will have the book kidnapped from me. So I'm reading it now because then we can talk about it next month together. Currently it's fine. I'm reading Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. And it's not that I think this book is bad, because I don't. I do really like it so far. I've just been reading it for, like, over a month now. I think you're going on two. Don't talk about <laughs> it. I've read this everywhere. I read most of it at a lake that I went to in a vlog forever ago. Did that vlog go up? Probably not. But look at me. You see where this is? That's how much I have left, okay? It's happening. We're finishing it. We're finishing it soon. Or I'll die. <laughs> Dissenting opinion, but I, I do really like it. I actually still like the last bit, which a lot of people have complained about, but I still am on board. There's also a scratch on the back. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this one. So I'm gonna have a quick disclaimer, all right? I've read one book this month. Just one. And she listened to it. Shut up. It was a very good book. It is maybe my top book of the year. It's The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin. Loved this, but um, it's the only book I've read this month because uh, on the 7th, I started re-listening to the Magnus Archives, which if you don't know about it, it's a podcast and it's wonderful. It's like a horror anthology and everything's very gay and it's just wonderful. And it started on the 7th currently the 14th and i am on episode 78 so that's what my month has been <laughs> with no reading at all now it is time to get into things we want to read and what kind of reading mood we're in i'm in a very like dystopian fantasy type mood somewhere in there you know this one i was in the mood for this it's got like some pretty good horror aspects to it not classified as a horror book at all but it's got some horror bits to it and it was urban fantasy hey, i'm in the mood for this <laughs> this is my problem <laughs> as far as what kind of reading mood i'm in i have no idea genuinely don't know there are a lot of things that i see when i look at the bookshelves that i really want to read but there's just so many of them that i get overwhelmed i don't really know what my game plan is this month i'm kind of reading a little bit of everything or trying to i've got some backlog books that I want to read. I've got some newer releases that I want to read. So we're just going to talk about a couple. Yeah. So the first book that I have to talk about that I really want to get to this month is a semi-new release, but it's one that Tori has already mentioned in this book. In this book. In this book. That is The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin. I am so excited for this. I cannot tell you how excited I am for this. I know. I know. It's been a good minute since it was 
like on everybody's radar because everybody read it right when it came out probably or last month because this was also the book club pick for phase and gaze and i didn't get to it because we moved <laughs> i did at least i started it i didn't finish it technically last month but you know i tried my best yeah so i'm gonna finish this and watch that live show but i have never read anything by mk jemison I am so excited to and I have been looking forward to reading something from N.K. Jemisin. I just haven't. I bought myself the Broken Earth trilogy for my birthday and then I bought this one. I think this is a better way for me to start out kind of learning how she writes and how she world builds. I know that this is a different genre. This is more urban fantasy as opposed to the fifth season which I know is more high fantasy very high fantasy and i know that that one sets up a lot for the next couple books so it's supposed to be very like dense and confusing and i know that this is the start of a new series from her as well but i think this is a better way for me to kind of get into nk jemison so this is where i'm starting i thought this book was like very accessible to even people that don't read a lot of fantasy yeah really looking forward to this so the first book that i want to get to this month is a beautifully foolish endeavor i'm so excited i've been meaning to read this book since it came out it came out like two months ago we went and bought it when it came out i know and we still haven't read it i still haven't finished the first one i loved the first one so much I'm gonna have so much trouble at the end of the year deciding what my favorite book of the year was because um I've read so many good ones. Pet by a quickie, Mezzi, An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green, The City We Became. There's just- I'm gonna have so much trouble. <laughs> but um anyway, I'm gonna read the sequel. Um I'm really excited. I actually have the audiobook for this one. I think I'm gonna half listen, half read it. Um probably switch back and forth between. She's recording my dog. <laughs> It's very cute. The second book that I have to talk about actually just came out at the end of August. It was supposed to come out back in April. <laughs> I have an art copy, which is why I say that. That is Ray Bearer by Jordan Ifueco. We got this arc at Y'all Fest last year when we went. It was one of the arcs that both of us were the most excited about. I think the most excited, yeah. Yeah, and we went to quite a few panels that had Jordan of Waco in them, which, like, I don't know about y'all. I go to Y'all Fest. I like the panels. A lot of y'all don't go to them. I like the panels, okay? Leave me alone. It was but my first year at Y'all Fest. Yes. It was so fun. I loved the panels so much. Yeah. So uh, we got this arc, which they tried to give us each an arc and we were like, no, 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 please give to somebody else. We, we are together. We are a unit. This is a fantasy novel. This is Jordan of Waco's debut. It's a young adult fantasy. That is all that I know. It sounds really cool. It sounds so good. Yeah. I love this cover. We're gonna have to get like a real copy of it. We haven't had the money yeah. to buy a new copy of it yet since it just came out. And we move. <laughs> Moving is expensive. Yeah. Very excited to get to this and see what this is about. I know I've seen a lot of buzz on Twitter about this recently because it just came out, which yay, but I wanna get to this, this month hopefully. I was supposed to get to it last month, but that didn't happen. So September it is. That's not gonna stay. <laughs> the next book that I'm going to read this month is Gods of Jade and Shadow by Silvia Moreno Garcia. I don't know a whole lot about this other than it's fantasy and it's based on Mexican folklore and Mayan gods. Which and is, it's beautiful. Yes. Um, appropriate because I believe it's Latinx Heritage Month starting tomorrow. Yeah, the 15th of September marks the beginning of that. And I don't know if there are any kind of readathons happening. We definitely are going to try to look into more Latinx books to read at the end part of this month and the beginning of next month. And if there are any sort of readathons, we will probably be participating. Yeah. Schedules permitting because of everything that's going on. Yeah. But, but at the very least, I'm going to be reading this one. Mm -hmm. I am so excited. I really hope I like this one because this author has some really cool sounding books that I'm super excited for, which I really, really want to read. So I'm really hoping I vibe with this writing style 
so I can pick up those other ones. <laughs> Lastly, I have two books to talk about because it's a duology and one of them is technically a reread, so it, it's fine. It's fine. But that is Vicious and Vengeful. So I read Vicious forever ago and I really liked it when I read it and when I heard that it was getting a sequel I was over the moon but I still haven't read it. <laughs> it is 2020. It's the end of 2020 pretty much and I still have not read this because I can't tell you the last time I read this and I don't think I can jump into this one without having reread this one. So I think this might be what I do. I think I might reread Vicious so I can read Vengeful finally and see what everyone is complaining about because I don't think a lot of people liked the sequel and I'm interested to see where I fall in that. I really liked it. I truly do not understand all the complaints about Vengeful. I really remember liking Vicious but again that was so long ago that I don't know if my reading tastes have changed so we'll see. I'm gonna start with rereading this one and then jump into this one. I might not get around to this one until next month depending on schedules and times and all these other books that I have because I also have some audiobooks that I'm interested in reading but I'm not gonna mention in this video. But yeah, this is what I'm doing. We'll see. So the last book that I want to read this month that I'm definitely going to finish is one that I'm actually kind of already in the middle of and that is an ember in the ashes i don't know if it's gonna focus on that but i started it i believe last month reading the ebook and i ran out of time on that loan you were also reading it on your phone yeah it was awful i was reading it like waiting for meetings and things you know because i was doing a lot of like orientation stuff and waiting for hours so i got like 11% into it but I got the audiobook and I'm super excited to continue with it because what I did read I absolutely loved. I really loved the writing style. I loved the world. Like it sounds really cool. It's setting up to be really cool. So I'm very excited to continue with that one. Okay so that is everything that we had to kind of chit chat with you guys about for half of this month I guess. <laughs> uh, Sorry we've been gone so long. We've missed doing this. So. Yes, we have. We're gonna try to get back into it. Let us know how this lighting is. Yeah. Because it's nighttime. Yeah, it's like nine o'clock. Normally we film with natural light. We are going to be on the lookout for any sort of books that have Latinx rep and yes. we're going to be on the lookout for readathons that have to do with Latinx Heritage Month. So, if you know of anything, feel free to leave it down below if it's something that you've created and want to show off or if it's something that you really want to support this month. Let us know. We'll check it out. We're yes. going to do our own looking and our own research, obviously, but... If you have anything specific. Yeah. Feel free. Yeah. No, um, we would love recommendations. Yes. For both readathons and books. Yes. <laughs> if you have any Latinx books that you really love please recommend them. If you have any urban fantasy books, please let us know because this one really wants to read urban fantasy and we can't find a ton of it on our shelf, so. I love urban fantasy. Yeah. Is it my favorite genre? It might be. But we don't have a ton of books that fall under that category, so if you know of anything, also let us know about that. Or, okay, side tangent, unrelated to anything, sci-fi horror? You got any sci-fi horror, send it my way, cause um, this is why she re listens to Madness. Exactly. <laughs> like, I'm re-listening to Magnus because all I want is sci-fi horror. That's where we're at. Uh, thanks for tuning in for this life update slash really weird new format of TBR type videos. Yeah. Let us know if you like this. Mm -hmm. It's more of a kind of casual chatty, neither of us have makeup on sort of situation. So sorry. <laughs> uh, it's fine. I am egg. <laughs> we are happy to be back and we yes. plan to be back more. Yes. So if there's anything you'd like to see from us going forward, also let us know. Yes. Bookshelf tour is coming once Definitely. we figure out what we're doing. Yeah. So other than that, I think, I think we're good. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye.